All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Let's see how we can solve question 45 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this one, we know that the angle alpha in here is 20 degrees, and we need to determine the tension in the cable AC and the row BC. So oh, we are in equilibrium, and if we look at the point C, we basically have two different tensions. Uh, the tension in the CA or AC, really doesn't matter or and the second tension is tcb and we obviously have the weight of uh 1200 pounds so since we are in equilibrium uh the sum of all these forces has to be zero so uh we can either resolve these forces into x and y component or we can use trigonometry which would be probably faster and what we have in here basically is the force or the tension in the cable cb and we also have another tension which is tca so we have tca and finally we have the weight of this 1200 pounds which will be downward. So if you want to use trigonometry, as always, we need to figure some angles in here. And let's figure out how we can find those angles. So what we have information about is this angle here, which is basically the alpha that we have. So this is 20 degrees. And also we know that TCB is making five degrees in here. And since the dotted lines are perpendicular to each other, if we want to find one of these angles, I'm going to show it in red. This one would be basically 90 minus 20 minus 5 degrees or 90 minus 25, which will be 65 degrees. So we managed to find one of the angles. Also, we know this angle is same as what we have in here. Actually, let me show you a different color. So we know this angle here would be same as the angle in here, which was five degrees or the five degrees that I showed in here. And look, uh, we have two of the angles in a triangle, which means we can easily find the last one. If we call this one alpha, we know the sum of all these angles has to be 180. So alpha would be 180 minus 65 degrees minus five degrees so that would be 180 minus 70 which will be 110 degrees now we're good to go to use our law of signs so we'll have sine of 65 degrees over the side in front of it which is our weight so 1200 pounds is equal to sine of alpha we figured alpha is 110 degrees we have TCA or TAC in front of it. And the last one is the sine of 5 degrees. And that would be TCB. So we should be able to find both of our unknowns in here. Let's start with TCA. So if we look at in this one, and if we cross multiply these two, our TCA would be 1,200 pounds times sine of 110 over sine of 65 degrees so we're gonna have 1200 times sine of 110 divided by sine of 65 that's gonna be 1244.2 pounds or one of the unknowns that we have in this and for TCB, we can consider these two. Same thing, we're going to cross multiply these. So TCB would be 1200 times sine of 5 degrees divided by sine of 65 degrees. Let's see what we get in here. Divided by sine of 65. That's going to give us 115.40 pounds, which would be the answer for the tension in cable BC or CB. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for this one. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.